Hello, welcome and welcome back to A Day Full of Budgets. Um, today is my check-in for week five of September. I'm a bit late, um, but we will do it anyway. Um, I've got £20 um, to stuff later, uh, £10 from a sale of some football boots, and then £10 left from our weekend away. Um, and I also have um, some placeholders that I want to redistribute as well. So let's get going. Um, so food now obviously my husband and i have been away for the weekend um the children have been here um with my parents and with that has meant that as i did buy some food and and leave it for them um but we've actually got 40 pounds left in food so we only spent 96 pounds um on food so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reallocate that £40 using my jar of chances. I was um and ah in about what to do with it and I don't know what to do with it. So I'm going to let the jars decide. Um, so I'm going to take all of this out um, and then I'm going to get some 10 placeholders. So I've got one, two, three and four. And then we're going to redistribute that um, later because that's that's a huge amount of money i don't really know what's happened this week um but i'm going to go with it anyway so fuel um and charging we have spent quite a bit more out of here than i thought um we had to pay for some parking when we were away um so yeah so we have spent like 35 pounds from here so um we've got 125 um, and we're left with 90 so now i haven't been through because i've not been here i've not been through my placeholders um i had planned to um but i just haven't so we've got 90 pounds left in fuel and charging uh family fun hasn't been touched my self-care i've been on etsy again and vintage uh, so I've got £20 left. So I had a bit of credit in Vinted because I'd sold a couple of things. Um, so instead of taking it out, I've just <laughs> we bought stuff. <laughs> oh dear. You'll see um, when it arrives. Uh, money, uh, money first. So we were actually under budget for our weekend away. Uh, merely because the hotel was so lovely. Um, and didn't charge us for the room upgrade on our voucher. Um, so yeah, that was amazing. Um, it might have been to do with the fact that they had a wedding in the hotel on the weekend, which I loved because I got to people watch and it was amazing. Um, but they obviously felt maybe sorry for us. I don't know. Anyway, we've got, I'm going to take it. We've got 30 pounds left in time for us. So we had 210 pounds. Um, and then we had my, uh, self-care money, which was 37.50. So I bought some really 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 lovely um things from independent um makers so i brought a, a watercolor picture some candles some handmade um shampoos yeah all all homemade from local people um and it was lush so um as much as it didn't go on like a massage or anything like that it went on stuff that i really love from local people so yeah that was amazing um and then the rest obviously just went on food so 30 pounds will stay in there and maybe we can have a lunch as well so school i've had to spend 25 pounds of this uh, my son got into um duke of edinburgh um which he's always wanted to do so um i had to pay for that so uh we've only got 80 pounds left in here I'm uh, being lazy again with my placeholders. <laughs> just putting them to the side and then sorting them out after. How much did I just say? A2. So I'm just going to go with the blues. I'm running low on the pinks and I'm not really sure why. Um, so I need to maybe get making some. Um, I just use our off ones. Uh, clothes, nothing. Uh, health and beauty yeah my son's had his hair cut um there is like a pound left um but we'll just take it all out 
um, kids, £10 out of here. So my oldest is now getting his pocket money weekly. Um, he does a lot um, around the house. Um, and he definitely deserves uh, what he gets. Um, in comparison to the other two anyway. <laughs> um, but what we've done is he set up a Monzo account. And he so the £10 I give him is his weekly spending. And whatever he doesn't spend, he puts into his Monzo savings. Um, you know, he's forward thinking for, you know, when he gets a car or, um, you know, when he goes to university. So he's really trying to save hard, um, which is lush. So we've just got 80 left in there. Home. So on our way back from our weekend away, we stopped into Ikea. Oh my God, I love Ikea. Ikea is like my, like a lot of home bargains is to a lot of you guys. I can't go into Ikea and not buy anything. Um, fortunately, we live quite far away from an Ikea, so I don't get to go very often. Um, but on our way back, we drove past one. Um, and my uh, one of my boys needed a bigger desk um, for studying because the one he was on was quite small. So we went in there and then we got just a few other bits and bobs. Um, and my husband had already spent some money in the week on homey repairing stuff. Uh, so actually we spent £190 at home, but that's what it's for. It's for those times where we need something and we did. And so we spent. So we've got £315 left in here. So I'm just going to see if I should have a 300 in my collection, which I've changed my setup a bit today. Um, just to, you know, mix it up a bit. Um, and watch me not have a 10 in in pink. No, I do not. Oh my God. Oh dear. Always organise me, aren't I? <laughs> she says, never. So I'm just going to put in some, ooh, no, some fives and I'll figure it out later and hope that I don't need any more. So we've got 315 still in home, which is still a great amount but we're not adding it to it um, this month. Uh, clubs had, what have we got in here? Ooh. Has got 160 um, in here. Um, we've got 145 left. So we've spent 15. So we've got 120. Swap that. 40, 5. So 120, 45 um, for clubs, which is great. Um, oh, I don't know if I've talked to you about this. I don't think I have. Have I? I don't know. Anyway, if I haven't, I'll tell you now. If I have, apologies. Um, so I've split pets. So um, the annual, so the annual pet insurance is now part of annuals, and pets in here is for their, <clears throat> you know, flea stuff, food. Um, if we need to put them into, you know, um, animal sitters because we've got a cat and a dog. Um, so that's what this is. Well, I just haven't had a, a label made yet. So uh, we spent five pound out of here, and I've used all the fives. I don't know, I've got one left. So I've got 25 in here. So hopefully this will um, build up nicely. Um, and I've got no tracker, so I'm not colouring in and all of that every time I buy some pet food. So that's that one. Um, annuals. So we'll go into here. Um, so annuals. I'm changing the way that I do this. Um, but I can't show you what I'm doing until all of my stuff arrives um, because I am I am forever in and out. And this covers a huge amount of categories, kind of a binder's worth of categories. Um, so I'm going to split it out um, and then I'm going to move this home fund is going to become my new sofa fund um, because we are in desperate need for a sofa. And when I say desperate need, we are because... Well, no, okay, we have a sofa, we have something to sit on. So 
um, but the sofa that we have has been split so it was a round sofa and in this house it's a straight line so it came from our old house we've been in this house like eight years and we've still never changed it um, so yeah they're on different levels and yeah anyway I am whittling on so we have taken so we've paid for our boiler cover which was a lot more than anticipated um, so actually we only have 150 in here now um, my husband needs to sort that out because the cover we've got is too much we don't need it um, so uh, yeah but for now I've already got 150 left in here and that will be sorted another time um, I have spent 10 out of Christmas which isn't in here nope it is in here just on some little stocking fillers so I'm not going to adjust the tracker um, but I have made a note of it on my little sheet and I will just take the £10 out of there so that is my checking uh, oh so the other things that I've spent that aren't in here um, was £60 for school food and £16.50 for another school bus pass um, but I will be adding them to this when I do my binder rejig that's what I'm going to do so let's deal with this so we're going to start with this £20 in cash so I know exactly what I want to do with it today so I'm going to put five into pumpkin love because I would really like to um, get this one done before the end of um, October. So we've, put five, so we've got £15 in there. And then I want to put five into my autumn challenge. Because again, I would quite like to complete this before winter kicks in. So put five five minutes. Oh, some do you know what? Somebody said that I need to draw faces on here. And I've just crossed it out. I'll try and remember next time. I'll try and get one of my boys to, to draw some um faces on them. Yeah, look it will look much better than actually just colouring out. <laughs> so we've got thirty pounds in here, which is awesome. I've got much, much further already than I did with my summer attempt, my summer challenge. Uh, and then I'm going to finish a challenge. So here comes the sun. It's going to get the last £10. And that is that challenge complete. Yay! Um, so let's just count that up. So this is paying for a hotel for me and my daughter um, in October um, for a a ball that we are going to. We're getting all dressed up and we're going to a ball. So let's count up. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 1, 10 and 15. That wasn't very quick, was it? Counting, I need to get better at that. So £115 in Here Comes the Sun from Grand Budgets challenge complete oh I'm so happy um I think this is actually only my second challenge that I've actually completed um so that's amazing so the hotel that we've got is 116 pounds and I've got 115 for it I mean this are uh, this cash stuff in Lark is just amazing so that's that yay and then for the last 10 pounds because I'm conscious that this is probably a very long video is going to be from my jar of chances so i've redone all my little um categories they're color coded to the binders but now i'm going to redo the binders and i'm probably going to have to change all the colors but never mind so we had this is the 40 pounds that we had left from food um and we're just going to let the jar decide where each of these are going to go so i'll put the placeholders in and then i'll move the money digitally um yeah so first one I've not used this for a while. Is home. Oh, yay, because home's not getting anything this month. So that's amazing. Uh, and that is 
does it come the color come through i don't know purple so that will be my purple binder and home is going to get an extra den although changing it pink <laughs> so in home actually i can change that for a 20 look at that we've got 325 in home so this is for home renovations home improvements um yeah just anything that we might need for the home that's great i love that one the next one is oh. <gasps> freedom okay oh that's so good oh i love our freedom now freedom's in cash so i think i'm gonna have to i'm gonna put one in for now and then i'm gonna have to um, swap it out for some yeah, some cash so where are we at <gasps> oh look the next one's 10 it's fate do these fit in here oh look and it even fits oh that's so pretty look at that oh that makes me so happy okay awesome i didn't even bring my freedom binder out today because i didn't think i'd be using it um i'm just gonna put it back on the side okay cool um so actually we've only got two left oh 100 envelope challenge well that's good because we're only putting really really small amounts in that this month um, so actually putting £10 in here is going to be great. Love that. So we can colour in the 10. Yay. And what colour ones are we in? Let's have a look. So we have got 850, 70, 80, 90. So we've got 890. So that's going to be a 900. Oh, I wonder if I've got a 900 in my stash. I do. Ta-da! Uh, so these are um, some of our new ones. So we've got £900 in our 100 envelope challenge, which is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Uh, so I have, I do kind of condense them down. So I don't literally do the envelopes, but I'm kind of doing the challenge still um, to save up for uh, my son's university, uh, cars, very large ticket items. Um, so I'll take that out as well. So we've got one left. Where's it gonna go? Oh, that's two. clubs well that's good because uh i'm going to do a lot of spending out of that in towards the end of october into november so an extra 10 in there is well needed and here we go that's awesome so we have 120 40 55 um, I'm going to swap that out for a 50, just because. So 155. Oh, that's good. See, that's why I like the jar, because I want it to go everywhere. I would put £10 in all of them, but I don't have enough to do that. So um, letting the jar decide for me is perfect. So thank you so much. Um, I'm going to leave it there, because... I always have a really long video um so i think my next video what i'll do um after this is um do my count up for the end of september um just to kind of see where we are before i then stuff for week one of october and then i can go do the food shopping <laughs> right i will see you all soon guys uh, i hope you're all well and happy budgeting bye